this is Angela McFarlane and you're stamping with Amax. So for this masculine card, I've used two um, masking techniques. One was simply masking and one is reverse masking. And I'll show you how we will do both of those. Once again, I've used my blending brush and I started with the lighter color and then I did the darker one and I'll just take you through that so for the base of the card I've actually created a template as well for the moon so this is just out of your uh, designer series paper the backing sheets in there I've just cut that up and created a template and when we go to use this I'll just line it up in the corners of the card and that'll create the mask that I need for that but first of all I will stamp the black image of the lighthouse where I want it to go so I'm just using memento black on this and I'll just make sure that it's inked up properly and I've gone about an inch from the side of the card and I'll just stamp that on the base. Hold it down for a few seconds and I've got a nice clean image. And then once again, I've stamped the image onto my masking paper and I'm reusing this one. So I peel off the backing and I line it up really carefully. Oh, sorry. I stamped it and then cut out the outline. Remember to cut out right on the outline. Don't leave any little um, space around it because otherwise you'll end up with a little bit more masked than you actually want to have masked. So put that in place. So the first thing that we're going to do is the moon up here. So I will take my other mask now that I've got this covered up and I will sit that right in the corner like so. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the colours I'm using are balmy blue and misty moonlight. You can just use a lighter and darker blue that you have available uh, the hole that I punched out was just using a one and a half inch punch or if you have some dies around the same size that would do the trick as well and I'll start with my balmy blue and I can see I've got some of Keith's hair up here from somewhere so then you'll see this is the brush that I used before I've just cleaned it off make sure I don't have any residue from before I'll just lightly tap it or just drag it across the top of the card and for the moon here I wanted to leave it a little bit of a uh, bit lighter in the center there so for this one just really hold it down firmly with your fingers and start off the image and just work in a circular motion until you get the effect that you want I am going over the center a little bit, but I am definitely leaving a lighter patch there. So it'll just take a few goes, depending on how much color you want there, and I'm happy with that. Now, while this mask is still in place, I will get my misty moonlight and then I'll just create a background for that. I'm not going to bother cleaning this brush off because I'm going from a lighter to a darker ink so it's not going to contaminate the ink at all and as you can see I'm starting off on my scrap piece of paper before I go onto my card. I'm finding that just sweeping the brush across the ink works well to ink it up as well so I just go in a nice swirling pattern sort of blend the color in they are called blending brushes I've actually got an artist friend who's bought a set off me as well they do come in packs of three 
if you are interested in them you can have them for different colors and another little tip that I'll show you for example for my pinks and stuff I can just punch out a bit of cardstock and glue it to the back of it just so I know which color I'm using it for so I'm not going to add too much more to this I'm pretty happy with how that seems to be coming out that's nicely blended and now we can remove the mask and there we go you can see I mucked up a little bit there. I didn't have my mask lined up perfectly. So what I'm going to do, I'm not happy with that. That's what not to do. So I'm actually going to place my mask over the top and light it up again. And I'll try to get rid of this dark color out of the brush. So I don't contaminate my lighter pad. And just go on the corner a little bit and just try to blend that in a little bit where I've got that line so you can see you can fix it up if you do muck it up a little bit I'll just really concentrate on that spot try to have my mask lined up properly okay that will do there we go that is much better so once again I'll just pop my lighthouse into the inside cover of my case and then I will get my birds and ink them up and just line them up across the moon like so to fill that corner in and the greeting that I've used for this one is a nice bold greeting from handsomely suited a happy birthday to you but any greeting that you would like would work well and then I just try to stamp this straight right over my blended bit there we go and that is how you do your masking and your blending on this card and then of course you'll just attach that to the white base of your card and you're ready to go I hope you've enjoyed that if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Happy stamping and thank you for watching and have a great day. Mm -hmm.